So let's go to black and white. All right, now you can't really tell how much it doesn't really match my hair. Hi everyone, I'm Jody. Welcome to my channel. I'm really glad that you're here today. So if you have seen my winter beauty trends, I'll link it right up here just in case you haven't, then you know I've asked you to let me know which of the beauty trends you're most interested in seeing a tutorial on. Now, I'm not a trendy beauty person. I don't incorporate all of the new trends into my look. I just like my look to stay relatively current without looking trendy. In that video, we talked about both hair trends and makeup trends. Many of you responded saying that you wanted to see some hair trends. One of the hair trends for winter is a sleek low pony. So I'm gonna do that one for you today. Another trend that we're starting to see in the runways is bangs. So I'm gonna give you some ideas on how to do that today as well. So if you're ready for some fun hair tutorials for a sleek back low pony, then stick around because we're gonna get right to it. All right, you guys, to achieve this type of a look, I like to do this on day two hair, maybe even day three hair. Because for me, on the day that I first wash my hair, my hair is very silky, very smooth. It doesn't have a lot of grit or texture to it. So it's just more flat. So it takes a lot more product and a lot more effort to get that pulled back, beautiful, full head of hair, low pony look. So we're gonna do this on day two. Now, part of achieving this look is adding some texture to your hair. So if you have a texturizer, you could certainly use that. I'm gonna use a little bit of dry shampoo and I love this Biotin Boost one. I've talked about this before, you guys, because it does not have butane or propane in it, which I do not want on my head. And I'm gonna start by going to the back of my hair, drawing a little bit of a straight line now again, if you have a texturizer, Orbe makes a really good texture. Any type of a dry shampoo can be a pretty good texturizer. You can see just by adding that in, the difference, well, let me be fair, do that to this side. The difference in bounce that you can get from a little bit of texture is pretty significant. That's really a good look. Let's think of, if I put this as the thumbnail, do you think anybody would have clicked on it? Probably not, unless they were like a hairstylist and thought they could help me, which they could. So we're gonna do that on both sides because we, again, we're gonna need extra bounce to this look. And we're gonna do that across the back. So I'm just taking about the top third of my hair all the way around, adding this to the root. And I'm just moving it around the root, really giving it some lift. You could use hairspray, which I'm gonna do that also, but I wanted to get that dry shampoo on there first just to absorb any oil and to help give me some boost. So you can see just by doing that, I've, if I wanted to like a really pretty bouncy curls look today, I could go just like this and then add some curls at the bottom because adding just that little bit of texture really does gives a little bit extra bouffant look to our more thinning flat hair. But we're not gonna go into all that today. So again, you could leave it like this and just add a couple really big curls, hold those curls till they're cold, then add a little bit of hairspray to them to just give you this nice look. But that is not today's tutorial. Today's tutorial is a sleek back ponytail, which you're probably looking going, Jody. that's the complete opposite. But trust the process, it's gonna be beautiful when we're done. Okay, so now that we've got a little bit of body, I'm gonna go back to those same areas where we added that texturizer or that dry shampoo. And I'm gonna take a teasing type comb Pretty wide tooth. You can use combs that are smaller space between the teeth for a much bigger lift in the root. I'm not trying to go really big, I'm just trying to add some volume. So that's why I wanna use a comb with this much space between the teeth. And I'm just gonna go right back to where we use that texturizer. And I'm just gonna comb that out, a little bit of a back comb. Just starting a few comb links above the root and pulling it down and pressing it Kind of creating that little bit of a knot there. Yep, something like that. That is what we're going for. Don't worry, we're gonna clean all that up here in a second. Same on this side. We're really just trying to add that body. Now, if you have really thin hair, you may wanna do this, clip it, do this next section, clip it, and then do anything down here and clip it. If you feel like you need a lot more body and volume to this look, then you don't have to stop with just this one section. You can keep going. And then we're gonna do this back one, which is really important. So again, just take your finger, draw a straight line, not too far down your head. 
take that comb and back comb it. Just like that, so you get a nice little puff. Then I just want to pick that back up and add just a tiny bit of hairspray just because I want to give it a little bit of staying power. Now you can also use hairspray on the sides really lightly because we've already used that dry shampoo and we don't want to add too much product because then too much product will weigh down the hair versus lifting it up. So now that we've got the base of our hair, sort of the structure, the foundation of our look, in place and sort of solid, now we can start to work on the outside. It's not unlike baking a cake, you've gotta have the cake in structure first and then you frost it, kind of the same thing. Now we're gonna to go to the frosting, AKA the combing and the creation of this low pony. Next, just go around your neck loosely and start to gather that hair at the nape of your neck. And by nape of your neck, think about your jawline and just drawing a straight line to the back. That's where you're kind of thinking of a low pony. Now, if you're gonna wear a stiff collar shirt, you may wanna put this up just a little bit more. If you're gonna be wearing a low, really pretty low cut shirt across the back, then you can bring it down a little bit more. Sort of think about where you want that to rest on your neck based on what clothes you're wearing. And once we've got that position sort of where we want it, we still have some room to play with it. You're just gonna to wanna to comb from the back. Make sure that all those knots are out still keeping that pony where we had it. Then comb it all the way from the sides, really keeping a tight, tight hold on it, making sure that the comb is going all the way through. Now, if you have little flyaways, don't worry. We're gonna, we're gonna put them in their place here in a minute. And then once you have your hair all where you want it in the back, then you start to massage it to that lower place wherever you're gonna put your pony. Then you're gonna to wanna to look at your part. Now, if you're a center part person like I am, I don't know where this is coming from, then you're gonna start about halfway between the front and the back of your head and pull that all the way back so that you are erasing, if you will, the part, your center part from that point back. And don't worry about this stuff in the front, it's gonna be fine. Then we're just gonna simply put that ponytail in place really to hold it at this stage. We're not trying to lock that look in because we are gonna wanna go back, take a strand of your hair and wrap it around to hide under that hair tie to hide it so that you don't see that. But right now we just want the hair out of our face so that we can really work on the front. So going to the crown of your head, pulling that forward, so that you're creating a little bit of a bump there. And once you get that bump sort of where you want it, I just want it to give a little bit of a poof right there. So we're just gonna spray, I'm gonna press against the back of my head and spray that just to give it that lift. Then we're gonna go back to our comb. And now's where you're gonna comb out any of those crazy areas that you had from our back combing and bring some of that forward so that it looks very purposeful. Next, you wanna take any sections that you're not gonna leave forward. And for me, it's gonna be right behind this bang area. If you don't have bangs and you wanna put it all back, then take all of it and put it right behind your ear. Then go through, add hairspray to your hand and blend down any of those flyaways. For me, I'm gonna leave that little section out. So I wanna go more like that. I just wanna hide any of those flyaways. Keep working on this so that it doesn't look like a part. More flyaways over here. And if you have some back here that you need to put with a bobby pin to hold them in place, that's absolutely no problem. I like to just keep the hair that's at the front of my face very tight and then let it get poofier, if you will, through the back. Then of course you want to make sure that you're combing through that ponytail. If you have straight hair and you want to get this really sleek, then you can add some mousse to it. You can add a little bit of hairspray. I like to have a sleek pony, but with a little bit of curl at the end. I just feel like it gives it a little bit different look. And for me, I just like that. And then to polish off the look, you'll just want to take one of your longer strands of hair, wrap it around your ponytail, really using that hair to cover your hair tie, your hair band. And then once you've covered that band, just secure the tail of your own hair back into your hair tie or just put it in with a bobby pin. 
And from here you have some versatility. You can curl these pieces that are forward. You can pull them completely back if you want. You could pull back just one side and have it a, kind of a half and half if you wanted. There's so many different variations once you get to this stage. You're just gonna wanna make sure that you've finished your makeup application and pulled that color from your face all the way down your neck. And after pulling your hair back like this, that becomes really noticeable, just this section right back here. In fact, I probably need to go back and put some makeup there because I did not do that either. And then coordinate any earrings that you have because now your hair is completely pulled back and your ears with your beautiful earrings are fully exposed so you can wear whatever pretty earrings you have. Now, if you wanna take this look a step further, and I will share with you guys, I ordered this online on Amazon just to see because bangs are coming back. My bangs took forever to grow, so I don't see me embracing this trend. However, I did wanna see what it would look like. There was a piece of me that was curious, and I was willing to spend the $11.99 to feed my curiosity. So if you have bangs, then you are set, you are on trend for winter. If you don't have them and you're thinking, gosh, I want them, but I don't want to fully commit to them, you know, you kind of want to test it before you, because that, it's much harder to put individual extensions in your bangs. So you cannot just like tomorrow get those back. You can too order a bang piece for $11.99, or you can pay a lot of different prices. That's just as much as I was willing to pay. Now. I have to tell you guys, I I got this the other day. I wish I should have had a camera going. I came out of the vanity room. My husband was at the doorway and I didn't tell him what I was doing. And it was a little bit, the sun had just set and I didn't have all the lights in the bedroom on. So I came out of the, the vanity and the look on his face was so priceless. He, you could see the wheels turning and his eyes trying to figure out something's different, but I'm not really sure what it is. It was so funny. All he could say after like 10 seconds that felt much longer is, hello. <laughs> and he just was not really sure. And I finally just started laughing, said, honey, did you notice my bang? I knew something was different. I just couldn't tell what it was. So it was really fun to do. So maybe if you're just been married for a while and you just want to try something different, or you just want to fool your husband, or maybe you want to just see what it's like, here's what you can get. They come on a clip just like this. So there's a little clip at the back. Once you attach it, you clip it closed and it helps keep it in place but to put it in, you have it open. This color doesn't really match my hair, and I just selected which one on Amazon based on who could get it to me the fastest for this video. So if I took some time and really looked at different ones, I'm sure there's some on there that much more closely matches your hair. But for the sake of you know this video, we're just gonna go with it. And if, maybe I'll just turn this part into black and white, and then you can't really tell how much it doesn't. It actually matches pretty good down here. It doesn't match at all up here, but we're gonna go for it anyway. So along with your sleek ponytail look, you could stop here, but why? You could add this bang, and for that, I'm gonna leave my hair just as it is. I'm going to take this and wiggle it in, because I want a little bit longer, sultry bangs. I don't think I want like short, short bangs. Now, if this was the right color, let's just, let's just imagine that. So let's go to black and white. All right, now you can't really tell how much it doesn't really match my hair. So you guys, once you put that in and you snap it closed, it like is in, it's in place. I may need to unsnap it and have my bangs be a little bit shorter because I can't really see. So let's just make them a little bit shorter. This is kind of fun actually. Okay, there, how about that? I mean, what a fun way to wear a ponytail different. I mean, you so along with your slick back ponytail, you could add some bangs for the day and give it just a really fun little look like something like this. Maybe because it's like orange almost, I feel a little bit like uh, um, Ginger from Gilligan's Island. Maybe I'm thinking of Daphne from Scooby-Doo. It's a red, it's somebody with like red hair. It's definitely a cartoon character. It's a, it's a TV character with red hair anyway. So that would be one way to pull off a sleek pony that looks completely different than anything that you have right now. You could put it to the side if you normally part down the center, something like that. I'm not a side part person, really. I'm more of a down the middle person, but I'm willing to try anything. I mean, you could even pull out your ponytail and see what this would look like. I mean, why not? We're already committed to this fun little bang look. I'm kind of digging it. If it matched better, uh, it might be okay. I would just need to get a color that really matches a lot better. But, you know, 
Who's to say we don't want to wear a little bang once in a while? I feel like it makes you look a little bit younger or something, doesn't it? I don't know, what do you guys think? To incorporate a look like bangs, you could have them this long if you wanted. Again, it's all a hair piece. You can adjust the length of the bangs. You can have way shorter bangs if you wanted. That's just really not a look for me. Um, although I do see some younger girls with that really short bang and I think it looks adorable, especially with like dark, dark hair and it's really thick bang. This is just too thin of a hair piece to do it. But there's a lot of different ways you could play this. You could really lean it a little bit more to a side and do a side part and leave this those longer pieces over there. So there's a lot of different ways that you can play around with hair trends without feeling like you've gone too trendy. Again, an easy ponytail, just really pulled back tight with some volume at the, at the base of your roots or just throw in some fun bangs. If the colors were the same, I don't think you could really tell they were different. And it's just a fun way to add a different kind of look. So you may not be a trendy person either, but you can certainly play around with some of these trends and just approach a softer way of doing them and just make your look a little more current. And with something fun like this, these bangs, it just allows you to play around. A lot more freedom, flexibility, a chance to get creative. And look, you don't have to have bangs every day. You can wear bangs once. So just have a lot of fun with it. If you have bangs and you wanna think about maybe growing your bangs out, a couple things to think about. You just really, really, really have to start getting used to wearing your hair all the way off your forehead. That is the biggest thing because as you start to let those bangs grow out, you start to realize that it is your forehead showing. You want to start to walk around the house with your bangs separated off to the side because as they grow, they are going to be in your eyes and that is where, if you've done this before, you know you are so tempted to cut them. You've got to let them get past this area and one of the fastest and easiest ways to do that is just to separate them and put them in really pretty barrettes through here. They have so many barrettes on the market. And that is a trend also for the winter. And start to get used to them being out of your face and your forehead showing. And I've heard a lot of you say you have bangs because you don't like the look of your forehead. Everyone's forehead, I love foreheads quite frankly. I think foreheads make somebody look very unique. Everyone's forehead's a little bit different. And I, I just think, my sister, who will probably kill me for saying this, she has a, a, a little, I don't want to call it an indention. It's like a dimple almost, but it doesn't move like a dimple, but that's what it looks like. She hates that in her forehead. I think it's adorable because no one else has it. And I think dimples are so beautiful and unique and that everyone's forehead is just different. So show your forehead, everyone's got one. All right, so I think we are gonna be done playing for the day. I'm probably gonna take off this crazy bang look, but if it, if it matched my hair color, I can't. I can't say I wouldn't rock it once in a while. I don't, I don't know, I don't know, but it's hard to tell right now because it's a little bit orange. So you are now up on two of the hair trends for this winter. Have fun with them, embrace them, put your own spin on them because before we know it, they'll be spring trends and they could be completely different. So have fun with it while you have a chance. Thanks so much for watching everyone. I'll see you next time, bye-bye.